Well, good evening, Natasha. You know, we're downtown because it, it is a point of contention here for us uh, because we're right on that fine line where we may start seeing snow or maybe some freezing rain farther to the south. So we definitely want to be here downtown. And now we have some barriers with the skyscraper, so it's not so windy, but you can notice that we're seeing a very fine snowfall right now. Up to this point, it was more of a freezing rain, kind of a wintry precipitation. But now we're starting to notice some of that fine snow. So that means some of that colder air is finally starting to move on in. We're just kind of waiting for that moisture here in downtown. Uh, I'll tell you this, as far as travel goes, it's been pretty light. It's just wet right now. Uh, we're not really noticing things to be too icy. The ground's just too warm for that. Uh, we're seeing very minimal, very minimal uh, snow uh, picking up on maybe some uh, of the tree areas. Out to the grass hasn't even really been much of an issue yet. So we were ready for this. We were, we were knowing that this afternoon is kind of the slow roll to the system. And we're going to expect things to get a little bit stronger as we head into this evening. And as for uh, tonight, I think we may start seeing this pick on up. I'm definitely going to be doing some updates here. I'll have some social media updates as well. We'll keep track of what's happening here downtown because, as I mentioned, this is a point where we're concerned. We could see freezing rain or some snow around here. All right, one thing that we're not noticing quite yet here downtown, and some of that's due to the buildings, is, is the wind. That's going to be more of an issue out towards the gorge and out towards Troutdale. I want to throw it over to Lindsay. She's going to have an update there. We have another person. A little a bit closer to the gorge in that colder air. Lindsay. Yeah, as you said, I'm here in Troutdale near the Columbia Gorge outlets. Most of the day, it's kind of looks like this. We've seen a little bit of snowflakes. You can see the grass is turning a little bit white, but what we've seen mostly is sleet. So that rain, icy mix. ODOT has crews in the area. They're watching the gorge very closely, and if things get worse, they are prepared to close I-84 eastbound here in Troutdale. Earlier today, we spoke to some drivers who stopped to fill up their gas tanks one last time before heading out into the gorge where conditions were already worsening. One driver we spoke with said he grew up in the area and is used to the snow, but is concerned about ice on the roads. It's hard to tell as long as you don't get the freezing rain. That's when it really just starts to mess things up. You know, if it's just some snow and everybody kind of just, you know, takes their time, I think it'll all be fine. Well, it was almost two years ago exactly that some trucks didn't follow the instructions to chain up. They went sideways and closed I-84 for nearly 24 hours, forcing people to spend the night in their cars on the freeway. ODOT is trying to keep something like that from happening again. They have de-icer trucks driving up and down the freeway, and I'm told the decision to close I-84 is based on the experience of their crews. They look at how bad the road is, the traffic, and how the trucks are handling conditions. Now, if you do have to drive, they're asking drivers to pay really close attention to the conditions and follow those instructions to chain up if you see them. Again, I-84 eastbound is open right now, but if it does close, it would close here at Troutdale to Hood River. ODOT told me they closed the on-ramp to the freeway here because it's a lot easier for people to wait out the weather where there's parking and businesses rather than on the side of the freeway. We'll be out here and continue to let you know if things change. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natter, Coin 6 News.